Hi guys. So, uh, hi right, guys. So it's been a little while since we made a video. Uh, last video you seen, we we got the front fenders and uh, the nose and the side side. Let me restart. We got the front fenders, the nose, and the side fenders all installed uh since that video i've been down here 30 45 minutes at a time so i haven't worried about making a video uh really the only thing i've done got the body bracing on uh you know fabricated a hood really nothing to that that's why i didn't bother with the bringing the gopro uh once we start on the body for my car i'll do a better job of getting keeping the video rolling at all times uh just a quick second I'll show you here as you can see we have all the body bracing on everywhere I got a light flickering up there huh. but anyways the body bracing's on uh, good thing about this car is that they all bolt on so I was able to go ahead and get it get it mounted until the side skirts come in which there those are so we'll be getting those put on today get those put on and I still got to get the uh, braces for the hood put on once I get that done we should be able to wrap this car up of course still got to put those quarter turn fasteners right there that ain't no major major deal uh once we get that wrapped up we'll pretty much be done with this car and be able to move it on and we can either give it back to nick or we can post it for sale on the internet for him i'm sure he'll be glad to uh get that done we kind of we kind of got behind a little bit you know from me and dallas having covid and then the baby being born so took me a little bit longer than i expected it to but it'll work out for us so uh, so once we get that car done and get it out of the way we'll get started on our car and get it start going back together we got bearings and seals and all to put in the new hub or put in replace the ones that are in those hubs uh still got to work on the transmission haven't even started on it of course body um i think that's about it i mean there's nothing really major but we are wanting to do some work to the trailer so we're going to try to get it done and try to move on to the trailer that way we can we can kind of accommodate a baby this summer when it gets really hot we'll be able to have somewhere to get in out of the heat and uh, stay warm when it's cold so well we'll just have to see how all that goes if it's your first time here make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button ring the bell share it with all your friends and family let them know what we're doing uh we we are uh doing these videos for you guys so we've had a lot of positive feedback so as long as we keep getting positive feedback we're going to continue to do them maybe just maybe racing season we can be there the first weekend of racing season i i'm not sure i'm not sure to Aldega's schedule uh i did notice mountain view posted their schedule i think their first race is the the end of march we will definitely try to be there some quite a bit this year really like the way they run that track uh like the payout like the fact that you get done at a decent time and get home at a decent time so that might be a place we look at quite a bit this this year uh, probably look at ecm a good bit this year i know they got a good payout so not sure where we're gonna race definitely be watching for the topless outlaws i know they've posted a good bit of their schedule i just wish those They've got one track on the schedule that's about 
30 minutes from the house, but I'm, I doubt I'm there. Uh, I, that's, I won't be at that track, so be nice if another track that was 30 minutes from the house would put the topless outlaws on the schedule but we all know how that goes so but anyways let's quit talking and get in here and get to work and... Rip more of this plastic off. I know y'all enjoyed that from the last video because it seemed like it took me freaking forever. In case any of you guys are wondering, Dallas and Dallas and Magnolia are still doing great. Myself and Dallas still trying to get used to not getting as much sleep, but We'll, we'll get through it. What I'm going to be doing here, I can get this thing rotated around enough. Tell you what, let's just do this. Plant you guys right there. How's that? Oh yeah. So right here I'm just gonna be starting some pilot holes. So we all kind of know where to go and what to do. At the same time I'm just gonna be winging it. So maybe the right way, may not be.
All right, so here we go. We fast forward it here just a little bit. Got the bracing on the hood, as you can see. Uh, got to get the scuff plates and the hood pins. I don't know. Lock it down real good and make it nice and neat. Make the gaps look good. While I've done that, went ahead and put the tires on it. Set it down on the ground and got the driver's side skirting done. As you can see. Uh, haven't put any rivets right here. I've only got three in this body brace right here. Just because of the fact that most people don't want rivets up underneath the wraps. So whoever ends up with the car, whether Nick keeps it or sells it, you know, they can take all the bolts out and have a nice smooth wrap and they don't have rivets all under we got to get the plastic put on on this side once we get that done this car will be finished up be ready to ready to roll i don't know if you can see it on the camera but you can see it better in person all i have is a black sharpie but i got all my lines drew out of the way i want to trace this one uh this will be the right rear quarter panel skirt so right now i'm gonna put it in a brake and just bend it on this line here since it's such a long straight line just try to weaken the plastic up to uh help cut it easier well first i need to get this curve off piece up on the, should have been a basketball store done laid this piece up on the uh, quarter panel over there and traced the fender wells and all out just to see where it needed to be <clears throat> well I need a switch hitter Should fit in the brake now. I've been noticing a lot of people, some people don't trim this excess off. Uh, they've just been kind of pop ribbing it to the doors and the quarter panels. I like to trim mine off. Just because number one, that's extra weight you don't need, and it's more places for mud to get trapped. Uh, let me know what you guys' opinions are on that. I I like it to be trimmed off. But like I said, I've noticed a lot of other people not trimming it, so maybe they know something about it.
properly. But now that's cut off. Just need to trim the back side. It'll be ready to put on. edges a little bit so they're not sharp points. I'm gonna match you guys on my trusty fire starting five gallon bucket. Sure would be nice to be able to melt all them down and make a new tire out of. Maybe Hooser will buy them back from me. I don't know. They work pretty good to start a fire in a wood burner. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to get this bucket turned the way I want you. Oh, heck yeah. Maybe. Shoot it. Look at that, boy. Awesome. Now let me see if I can find a hole. Got it. I do it I just stick this piece up there clamp it down get it to the clearance and the all that I want I like or want drill two starting holes and go from there uh, may not be the right way to do it but that's the way I do it maybe y'all have noticed me get my fat butt scooted around here And this isn't scarred up or nothing. This is just the that plastic sheeting that protects everything. I don't. I'm not gonna peel it off because whoever gets the scar, or whatever they may, it'll help clean the. It'll help the clean time to get you ready for the wrap or stickers or whatever.
quarter panel done. Now let's get the door done. Slide your bucket. This side up as high as I can get it. I'm gonna drag the track. About an inch and a half. We got eight and a half. Yep, yeah. Looks about right to me. About eight and a half. Good to go. Ready to go. All right, so let's just drill a hole. Get one bolt in it, hold it. Now I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing I just told you guys, showed you. I'm gonna cut the ends off, put that in a break, and cut the excess off.
nice jacket. Let that come off. There it is. Skirts are on it. Everything's on it. It's done. So we're going to sign off from here and get a hold of Nick. See what he wants to do. See if he wants to come get it, take it home with him or and post it for sale or he may change his mind and he want to race it himself. So we'll see though. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, if, you had, if you're new here, you enjoy what you see, make sure you share it with your friends and family. Comment down below. Hit the little like, subscribe button, ring the bell to get all the notifications. Uh, we should be getting started on our car here pretty soon. As you can see, it's just kind of been pushed off into the corner and been a catch off. But here shortly we're gonna hit it hard and heavy and try to get it done get it ready to go for uh, i believe the end of march so like i said thank you guys for watching y'all make sure to check out our other videos and y'all have a good weekend out in the sun uh said i didn't have all thing he's got left to do is put the hood pins in it and get them adjusted to fix the gaps in the fenders didn't have any so that's why i wasn't able to do it other than that though i think it turned out pretty pretty good